Today we're going to talk about the implantable contact lens. This is Dr. Marcos Reyes and I'm excited to share this procedure with you today. It's called the Vizian ICL or Implantable Contact Lens. That's what the ICL stands for. It's made by a company named Star Surgical. This Vizian ICL is an implantable contact lens that's an alternative to LASIK or PRK which are two other refractive procedures. Refractive procedure just means a procedure that is used to reduce someone's dependence on glasses. As you can see, I've begun the procedure by placing two incisions at the top and the bottom of the cornea, followed by lidocaine, which numbs the inside of the eye, and then we'll place a jelly-like substance inside the anterior chamber to maintain the eye's shape while we do the surgery. I'll go ahead and make a large incision at the top part of the eye and this incision will be about three millimeters in size as you can see sometimes there are bubbles that are within our syringes and once the incision is complete and widened just a hair on either side I'll go ahead and use the jelly substance to push the bubble out of the anterior chamber well, I tried it once, and there's a bubble in that syringe, and then I go. I went ahead and used a different syringe. So now I'm going to go ahead and inject the implant through the main incision, and it'll insert beautifully and gently right in the place that I want it to, in the anterior chamber. Now I'll take the Baye manipulator and twist the implant horizontally because I'm sitting at the top of the bed, and I want this lens to sit side to side. This Baye manipulator is named after an ophthalmologist, a well-known one in the Dominican Republic, who developed this device. It's flattened at the tip to allow ease of working with the foot plates of the lens. The foot plates will allow the lens to sit right behind the iris. So I take the manipulator and I push and pull and gently tuck each foot plate right behind the iris as gently as possible taking care to not disturb the iris or to disturb the lens which is right the natural lens which is right behind the iris um, doing so would result in a cataract and I don't want that to occur so once the lens is situated perfectly behind the iris I'll take this irrigating solution and the irrigating solution the whole purpose, as you, kinda, you can see the fluid waves within the anterior chamber, the whole purpose is to push all the jelly out of the main incision. By doing so, the eye will then be filled with solution as it's supposed to be and not the jelly-like substance. Um, if the solution stays within the eye, it can cause glaucoma. This next solution that I'm using is to shrink the pupil to maintain the implant's position behind the iris. As I was injecting it, there are some more bubbles, so I'm going to go ahead and finish injecting the solution and getting the pupil to an adequate size before I remove the bubbles in the same manner that I did the first time. And for the sake of time, I did skip uh, my maneuvers in getting the bubbles out. Those little bubbles that remain won't be a problem. They'll be gone within a few hours. I'm just finishing hydrating the wounds, making sure all the incisions are sealed, and it looks beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. I really enjoy sharing the cool things we get to do in the operating room to help patients out. As always, please subscribe and have a great day.